know what I noticed? What? In this house? What? Outside is mad hot and warm, but when I come here, it's mad cold. And I think I'm getting a cold because of that. I mean, some days it'd be, it'd be hot in here. I know, but like the last two days, like it's been mad cold. Like I come in here and I feel mad congested. Like I go to sleep. I feel like I have like hella mucus in my nose. That's I mean, just, I feel like that in my house because I go to sleep with the AC on. Because you're crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Like when we uh, take naps and stuff, like I could deal with that. But like, I don't know. This is like weird. It's like, I'm so hot outside, and when I come in here, it's just like instant cold. It's COVID. No, it's not. <laughs> Ain't no way. We can't get sick. We got to go on vacation. Yeah. Uh-uh. I'll Guys, cry. we going to Jamaica next week, so if you don't see us, no, we outside. We outside. We outside, for <laughs> real. <laughs> Shit. But nah, like, I be waking up, like, my throat, I can't swallow. Not really, I can't swallow, but it feels, like, weird. And I remember I, like, I was like, <laughs> I, I did that in the, in the, in the uh, sink. It was like yellow. I was like, Ooh, I did that in the shower the other day. What color was it? It was yellow. That's oh, so nasty. Shit. Oh, shit. What have we got? We got the same. Uh, uh, no, my throat be like hurting too. It feels like raspy. Raspy. Not like, not like the uh, that raspy. Like, I don't know. I can't explain it. Like, what you got in your throat? Sickness. <laughs> no, it's tough. Nah, but I I don't know. I hope we don't get... Nah, we took our COVID test yesterday. So what, we should get it back tomorrow? I mean, your parents got it back today and Libby. Nah, chill, 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 <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't they get um positive COVID test back first? Yeah. All right, I so think we, we should. Good. We're green. All right. You think we should start the intro now? Yeah, Do we your thing. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my first ever podcast and my first ever episode of my podcast no regulars podcast and i'm your host and i'm here with my lovely guest would you like to introduce yourself just call me jay okay <laughs> oh shit so you're not gonna tell you what you are to me you're not gonna tell the world you t- you introduce me this is my wife people mm-hmm. where's the ring show them the ring, Come for- <laughs> not the ring. oh my god you had one job oh my god i even forgot my earrings this morning it was a rough morning was it really? No. I just said that. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gassy. Oh, no. Don't nah, do it. No, nah, I'm not about to. I'm not. That's, that's a violation to my fans that I don't have yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's make a toast. First ever podcast episode. First of many, mm-hmm. hopefully. <laughs> let's hope this is not the one and only. What are we drinking? <sighs> they don't need to know. They don't need to know. It's refreshing, though. <laughs> That's how y'all know what it is. So, let's tell the people how we met. Because I know I love telling this story. And everybody always be asking me. So, you're going to start it? I will start it. You know why I like this story so much? Why? Because it's, it's different. It's like a movie. Because you know everybody nowadays, when, they, when, they, um, <clears throat> when they're um dating, they be like, oh, they dating like... Like, how'd you meet your girlfriend? Like, oh, I met her at a party or... What do Instagram like? Instagram, they just started talking on Instagram. Sneaky links. That's what the, that's what it is nowadays. This that's like, the generation now. The generation now is full of sneaky links that just become like relationships over time because it's like, fuck it. we <laughs> like they're like, fuck it. no for real crazy toxicityness. Mm mm. That ain't us though. We got a we got a good story like that. If I had a director, that would be a good movie. But now nah, let me let me stop stopping. So look, this is how we met. All right, so it was December thirty first, two thousand eighteen. Yes, it was two thousand eighteen. It was. It was. I had a basketball game. I play uh, Division three basketball at Rutgers Newark. Actually, I don't play. I sit the bench. That's a, <laughs> that's another story we get into at the end of the day. But so you know, basketball game. The game just start. We're getting layups, and I'm going back to the line, and I see this this pretty little light skinned girl walk in. I still remember what you had a slick back little ponytail, had a had a gray hoodie, green parka. It's not like a stalker right now. But you I, do. <laughs> it's crazy how I remember that. Like, it was like. What shoes I had on? Air Force Ones. Oh, I. I, know. I remember. She caught my eye mad quick. I broke my neck and lay up on it. I did a double take. Mm-mm. Me and my boy on the bench, she like, yo, you see them? See that girl up there? I'm like, yeah, she look mad good. He's like, you gonna do that? Yeah, but it's me. <laughs> so the game's going on, and I'm just paying attention to the game, and they're paying attention to you like once in a while. And then you get up. I'm like, 
get up and leave. I'm like, oh my gosh. I hope this girl like went to go take a shit or like went to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, I hope she didn't leave. And I'm like, damn, she ain't never come back. <laughs> and I get I get in the game and I made a layup. And I know for all my fellow bench warmers, y'all know the feeling when you get into the game, y'all blowing the team out or you getting blown out and it's like two minutes left and you just been sitting on the, the bench for like 35, 40 minutes already. I'm like, I don't want to get in the game. So I'm glad you wasn't there to see that shit. Like, Aww. it was like weird. I was like, I, I hate it so much. I, I would have been cheering for you. Would you really? Would you really? Mm-hmm. You're a real one. <laughs> but anyway, so after that, I thought I was never going to see her again. I'm sad. So this is New Year's Eve too. So I'm like, I'm about to go drink tonight. I'm yeah, depressed. I... <laughs> I'm depressed. But then I get a follow from a J J C R. I'm like, who is this? I'm like, nah, this ain't the girl from the from the game. Ain't no way. I'm looking through the stories. I'm I'm going quick. I'm like, oh no, this is Dude. like imagine you didn't follow me, but you follow Corey and them. Oh, I would hurt. No, I would. I already knew I wanted you, not them. Uh, oh. Get what you want, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like to hear. But anyways, you know, she put like a little poll up, and you know, I have to tell her like, oh, you look mad good. You know, something easy or not nothing too thirsty, fellas. Don't be too thirsty. No, it was like a you cute. Yeah, you cute. <laughs> don't gas their head up too much because they don't like that shit. Am I right? I guess. Because <laughs> if I would have came in like you beautiful, like, you would be like, I'm a weirdo. Now, if you were to say you're beautiful, it would have been the same thing as you're cute. But, like, if you would have started stretching it, like, oh, you're so cute. I need your number. Then I would have been like, oh, no, nah, you're thirsty. <laughs> See, I had to be smooth with it, you know? Like. You had to keep it simple. Very simple. And then, you know, we had a good conversation. I got to know her. She's from from the city where I'm from. That's, and she actually went to the same high school my dad went to. Oh, yeah. I know. I was like, oh, wow, we got, we got in common stuff like that. I was like, oh. Long story short, I got a number, and we started texting. And then, you know, I want to go on a date immediately. Oh, my God. Immediately. Like, I'm, I'm in hot pursuit. <laughs> I'm putting, applying so much pressure. But then she folds on me. She tell tried them, to. Tell them how I folded on you. Because I was like, let's go to Bonchon, because you was talking about that's the best chicken in the world. Which it, it is. is. Yeah. You put me on. I did. You did. Respect. Respectfully. But he was trying to be like, I bring my friend, you bring your friend. I ain't no double day. I want to know you. I was nervous. I understand. That's why I need you to be nervous. Because I was nervous too. Mm-mm. I know you was hella, you know, the first time I met her, it was after my other game. I think it was like two days before, like after a couple, you know, it was like, when was it? Like three, four days after. And then it was like, we had another game. And like, I seen her. She tried to hide from me. <laughs> Like I walk, I walk up the stairs. I was standing right there. I know, but you didn't even say nothing to me. I, I was facing like back. I know. I, I was nervous too. Like I had to walk off. I told Tyrone, I'm like, "Yo, it's time." And he dabbed me up. He's like, "Good luck, my friend." Mm-mm. That's what we do. And then you know, we was talking, and I was like, "As a gentleman, I am." We had pizza that night, so I'm like, <laughs> "Would you like a slice of pizza?" What'd you say? I said no at first. You said no, but I forced it upon you. I'm like, nah. "Yeah, yeah." And then her friends and took my pizza. Like I'm like I didn't say y'all could. Have they was to hungry pe- too. So they all gotta eat. <laughs> you a real one. Exactly, all my friends eat. But anyways, so first day we go to the movies and shit. N- fellas, don't take a girl on a movie date the first day date, cause that's not that's not the vibes. Like, that's some little kid. Like, if you grown, like, you gotta, like, the only reason I did is just because, like, it's like, whatever, Mm because I tried to go out. Like, you guys gotta take him on a date to get to know him. Like, that's what I wanted to do, but I don't know. We went to the movies, we watched Escape Room, and then in the the getaway theater ever. And I felt bad. Because you, like, I tried to be smooth with him, be like, come on, let's cuddle. She was uncomfortable the whole time. And I didn't even know until two years later. It wasn't like the... The seats that reclined, it was like we were standing straight. And he was trying to make me like lay on him. It was mad uncomfortable. Yeah, this girl lanky. <laughs> lanky limbs. Long as hell. So I'm like, I thought it was smooth. I made a whole playlist of um mixture of R&B songs and 
uh, new songs and shit like that so we can listen to it in the car. I'm, I was waiting for to see which song you really like so we could sing along. That's why I put. That's why I made the playlist because I know all them songs. <laughs> and it was that Chris Brown song and we just went crazy. I was like, yeah. Which one was it? That's it was. Like, Yo. I don't know your name, but excuse me, miss. I saw you from across. And I was singing to you. You was like, you wasn't feeling. I was like, oh, I think shit like that. You weren't even singing to me. That's how it was. You don't remember? No. Damn. <laughs> we went to go. I, nah. Fellas, listen to y'all girl, bro. Because the little things always count. She always tells me she want to go ice skating. I'm like, all right. Let's go. We're going on a second date. We're going ice skating. We having a good old time. And then, you know. I did this one thing where I wanted her to see like my soft side and there was little kids skating around the rink and I want I was waiting for one of them to fall. Like fall not hurt themselves, but just fall so I could be like, Oh, I got you. So she'd be like, Aw. I and really don't remember that. You don't? Mm mm. I still remember the kid. I'm like, Thank you. I I went back to go pick that up. It was a little Spanish kid. He was holding a little um the little carrier thingies. It was like oh. a little guide thing. And mm-hmm. he fell. I was like, oh, I got you. Uh, but after that, and then what? Your friend came and was like, oh, my gosh, you guys, you going to meet her parents today? I'm like, uh, I wasn't planning on, but I'll go. And then she was so scared. I did not want it to happen. You were more scared than me. I was. Like. I never introduced nobody to my parents. I didn't like, even tell them I talked to anybody before. No, That's why I was ready. Mm-mm. Like what? Like I didn't even know what your parents look like. What if your dad was some? B- he is. Stop playing with him. I'm taller than your dad. No, you're not. <laughs> he, dad, if you're watching this, you're bigger than him. <laughs> nah, that's my guy though. But it was fun though. When I met your parents, we was playing cards, and I had to show your mom like I'm a cool person. So I was talking. Like when I won, I was like, "Yeah." You won. We. I won in a Uno. Nah, you making that up. I swear you I did. That it was up. the first win he I He ain't had. never beat me and my family in anything. I've been winning. You never beat us in anything. Why are you lying for? You're lying. Put that put that on something. Name name I like, beat y'all in clue. Na- name five things that you beat us in. Cornhole. Clue. Don't recall cornhole. I'm on your team. Oh, yeah, then you did win. <laughs> I won like a couple clue games. I recall like once. Okay. Trouble. I don't remember that. I won trouble. How you gonna remember? We barely we played trouble like twice. Exactly. That's why I don't remember. So it don't all count. Right, all right, all right. Uh, palace. Because you knew how to play palace before us, and we were still right there. Will you beat us like once? No. You beat us like once. Maybe you beat me more than once, but playing against my whole family. I still won. No. Dominoes. You did not beat us in dominoes. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Me, me and Jeter. We won one time and y'all was so mad. Me and Jeter. Me and your mom. We didn't beat you and Jeter that one time. I don't even remember my mom playing. Yes, it was either. I think it was either me and your mom. See nah, see I, now you get into the story I'm mixed up. I'm so serious because y'all was so mad because I actually figured it out and I was like, "Ain't no way, we just won." I He's promise lying. you. He is lying. You be trying to downgrade me. No, I'm not. I'm just saying you need to tell the truth. I got your mom remembers. She was on my team. She was like, Dad, don't you mess this up for me. She was getting mad. My mom is good at dominoes, though, so she probably carried. She did. <laughs> she LeBron, and I'm J.R. Smith. <clears throat> she got me my ring. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, long story short, after all these dates, what, we two and a half years in? Mm-hmm. Strong and healthy, you know. I don't know about healthy. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we ain't toxic. We ain't like these normal Everybody got a little, little bit of toxic in them. What is toxic? Like, there's a different definition for. for I think everybody has a different definition. But what is, like, what is your definition? I don't even know how to explain it. I just see something and I'm like, that's toxic. Like my definition of toxic is um. Uh, a guy cheating on his girl, and him blaming it on his girl. That's. I mean, sick. that's that's really toxic. That's what like. That's max level toxic. <laughs> That's like I went on I went and cheated on you because you're a bad person and I don't like you. No, nah, that's max. <laughs> what the fuck? That's, That's like top tier. That's future level. Mm-hmm. I don't know like that. Do I? You probably do. All your friends. Nah, my friends are good guys. Like I always wish upon my guys that they find love like we have. Cause I, I hope know so too. I hope so too Because some of them need it They 
Because this is, this is a good feeling to have. Like, it is. what is your definition of love? I mean, I feel like there's no real definition of love. I don't think so either. It's just like what you make it out to be. Yeah, I feel like it depends on the person. Yeah. I feel like love is not even a feeling that, for real. It's like, in the beginning, like, you have like that feeling, you think that's what love is. Like, nah. And love is like, is commitment to anything, all the good and bad stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, being willing to be with that person, no matter what the circumstances are. Mm Because you know, like, that's your person. That's true. Like with me and you, like I know you get on my nerves sometimes. I get on your nerves. That's how it is. You get on my nerves more than I get on your nerves. Cause everything gets on your nerves. <laughs> Yo, this girl, it's easy to tick this girl off. Like when I tell you, if like her drink don't taste good, she in a bad mood. Not drink. All right, Maybe I, food. Maybe if you, food. If you had like bad food, you like. like this that's only nasty. if I'm really hungry too. Like I feel like that's what everybody does. Some people get hangry. I just get more hangry. Like. Do y'all hear this, bro? Hangry is a thing. <laughs> ha- hungry and angry. When she's hangry, bro, I stay away. I, I gotta run to find food, like I'm, like I'm feeding a bear. <laughs> and it's like she's picky. It's like I don't know what the hell. Like, no chicken sandwiches no more. Only cheeseburgers. <laughs> like she used to love chicken sandwiches. Now she don't like. She can't stand chicken unless it's like banchan chicken. Mm-hmm. Like good chicken. I don't understand. Like, I, like, like I'm fine with it. I don't care. But, like, I, I find ways to trick you. You do. So, either, sometimes I just buy the food and just be like, here. <laughs> but some food you like, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, back on the love thing, right? So, everybody wants, I know everybody wants to be in love because they think it's all good and, like, rainbows and sunshine and butterflies. But, nah, it's not like that. Mm-mm. Like, with that, we fight the battles a lot. Uh not more than usual couples. Yeah, not more. We than just usual. get into like petty arguments. Yeah, like today. Yeah, <laughs> that was all good. But when you find your person, it's like you do whatever it takes to make that person happy. Mm-hmm. Like all the little things. Like with you, like I from the beginning, like when we used to go on little, have our little anniversaries, like every month and stuff like that. I would know what candies to buy you, and give you like a little care package and stuff like that. And it's like, I feel like I always like to see you happy when you see that stuff. Mm-hmm. Always, like, pay attention to, like, what dates you want to go to. Like, if you want to go to, like, get some seafood or you want to go watch a certain movie. Like, I just take, like, mental notes of that. That seafood date need to come up soon. I know. Yo, ASAP. Just Be Claws in Jersey City is rocking. You put me on. I did. I put you on to seafood in general. Yeah, I know. I never liked crab legs until you. I don't know what the f- happened. But I put you on to that good stuff. You did. You did. I got you. You know. You got it, big homie. <laughs> But yeah, like, oh, and another thing, you're, when you're in a good relationship, like, you'll feel this, like, that is like a new level of comfort that you never knew you had. Like, when I'm with you, I feel like I'm a motherfucking, like, little ass puppy mm-hmm. or like a kid. You act like one. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You act like a kid too. <laughs> but it's like, it's it's weird. It's like, I've never been like, I don't be like that with my friends that much. Sorry to y'all. Y'all my guys, but I love y'all. My brothers. I mean, I feel like it's a different type of love. Yeah. With your friends and girlfriend. Yeah. It definitely is. I hope and pray all my brothers love one day. Because they be, they be clowning me. They be trying to clown and call me. Be like, man, you always with Jay all the time. Be like, be like, where you at? You at Jay house, aren't you? I'm <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, I knew it. I like, I don't even got to ask no more. Like, dang. If they don't hit you up with plans. Exactly. I'm, I'm next up. Exactly. Well, I'm first up. You but... first up. Like, you, you're already there. <laughs> like, they too late. I'm sorry. But for real, let me, you know, I want to talk about what I want to talk about this weird subject. Remember that movie we watched? Which one? Uh, we watched a lot. Greenland. Wait, I'm getting a phone call. Who the f- call me? Why did you call me? Anyways, I think it's Greenland. Remember with the f- with the comments and shit? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I'm not spoiling it for y'all, but that movie's tough <laughs> and very scary at the same time. Like, Yo, what is these niggas these calling me? Answer. To put them on your podcast. Bro, what the f***? Bro, what y'all niggas want? What y'all niggas want, bro? I'm going to call... Yeah, I'm going to call y'all right back. Look, say say what's good, Fritz. What's good? <laughs> All right, I'm going to see y'all next.
Your. I'm gonna see you. Can I ask the question? What's the question? All right, go ahead. Where do you two see each other in five years? Thank you. Like That's it. the next topic. <laughs> I'm going to see y'all, though. I'm dead. So we just phoned in, phoned a friend, and that's our next topic after this. All right. But anyways, so Greenland, right? Mm-hmm. It's a movie about the end of the world. So would you rather be in that situation where there's a as meteor coming is the end of the world you gotta find a bunker or the zombie apocalypse from walking dead that's hard because i always wanted to be in the walking dead why i don't know it just seemed fun just because it was the walking dead like it was a show but in real life i probably would do comets you do comets because it's like one and it's like one day it's the end of the world walking dead you could be in there for like years trying to fight off zombies and do I really want to do that or just be dead? I guess, but like, nah, first of all, I'm, I don't want that because I'm, you know me, I'm, I'm a nervous wreck. So if I know I'm going to die, I don't know what the I'm going to do. You're going to have to put some drinks in me or something. So shit. You, you know you're going to die with a zombie apocalypse. No, I'm not. I'm living. You're not. I have it's a gonna... z- zombie survival plan that I learned from my, from Tyrone. What's that plan? Please tell I me. I can't tell you. That's a secret. Oh, but we're going to be good. I'm letting you know that. We're going to be good if that ever happens. No, we're not. Yes, we are. You're going to be fighting off zombies all your life. So? It's lit. You said it's fun. It's not. It It is fun in the in the show. We're going to be in the mountains. The They're not going to get us. The show zombies? We're going to make a cult. I drank all your water. <laughs> no, you f***ing didn't. <laughs> the show zombies? How did you drink my water? <laughs> you gave me like... Two sips of water. You gave yourself all the way to the top. That was yours. I put yours right here. No, I drank mine. I didn't give you that little, unless I switched the cups by accident. You definitely switched it, because it was a little bit. It was like this much. That's tough. <laughs> what was I saying? Talking about zombie apocalypse. No, I was saying something. You know I got bad memory. No, it's dementia. <laughs> Guys, dementia runs in her family. Stop. Don't wish that upon me. It's okay. I'll take care of you. Not gonna work. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be telling you like your name is Philip. <laughs> and you're like, oh, Mm-mm. it's gonna be like that movie, The Notebook. Oh hell. Yeah, it's gonna be us. Hell oh, no. shit, hell that's hell gonna no. be us. I'm gonna be like, please remember me. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be reading me stories that, about our life. Yeah. Exact. We're in the Notebook. Oh no. We're please. Little, don't oh wish. damn, it's done. It's deed for you. Don't wish that. Okay, I'm not wishing that upon you. That's not wood. Right there, right there. Where? Oh, shit. There you go, there you go. All right, back to what we were saying. Yeah. Zombie apocalypse or the end of the world Armageddon? End of the world. I'd rather it be one day. I'm not fighting for my life. But it's like, all right, walking dead zombies, do they sprint? No, okay, they're slow. Okay, I'm good. Okay, this is not the walking dead. Like, that, like, that's the zombies, though. No, in some movies, zombies be sprinting, like, faster than you and me. Okay, but we're talking about the Walking Dead zombies. I'm not talking about zombies from World War Z. Them with, or zombies from freaking um, I Am Legend. I'm mm. not talking about them. Them is baby hulks. Nah, they real life people. Or them, or that movie that we watched from Netflix where that zombie was like dodging and shit. <laughs> dodging Batista swings. Nah. nah, I'm dead. But look, th- yo, we're good, bro. We're going to find, we're going to go to like, we're going to Wyoming. And then we're going to just build a house there in the middle of nowhere like Curse the Cowardly Dog. I'm just going to live our life out. No, nah, you have to watch The Walking Dead. You don't know. I tried, but it was so boring. No, you're wilding. Like, it wasn't gonna as interesting. They're going to bash you. <laughs> Keep bashing me. What do y'all think? Walking Dead zombies or Armageddon? Like, what is your doomsday? Like, which one would you rather be in? Or, how about this? Armageddon, zombie apocalypse, or alien invasion? I ain't know. No. That. No I'm not alien doing alien invasion. invasion. Hell no. Imagine that. Mm-mm. You know how I'm gonna die? I'm gonna die. How are you gonna die? I'm gonna die like I'm gonna be driving one day, and like I'm gonna get hit by the freaking meteor from the like the the alien ship like no. that crash landed, or I'm gonna I'm just get blown up by some weird shit. like just some random explosion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the zombie attitude. They gonna they just gonna kill me. 
I'm gonna act like I'm a zombie. You think they're gonna know I'm not a zombie? I said a zombie. I'm an alien. You gonna give them attitude? <laughs> you ain't gonna have that time. They gonna shoot you. <laughs> they are. They gonna kill me first. Like I'm talking about the aliens. All right, if it's the aliens from fucking, uh, you ever watched uh, what's that movie called? Battlefield Los Angeles. Mm-mm. Them was crazy. Like it was like a bunch of Marines versus aliens. I don't know how the Marines won. Them was in like robot suits and shooting. Up, I would have died. All right, what about comets? Zombies or Planet of the Apes? Planet of the Apes? Mm-hmm. Planet of the Apes, easy. I'm killing all the Nah, guys. you're bugging. What? I got... Okay, which <laughs> planet... Which... Okay, there was a time when them... Like, the, I think the last Planet of the Apes, that's when they learned how to use guns. This is basically us. They're throwing hella grenades. Nah, they be wilding. They do, but... Okay. They aggressive. I would rather the Planet of the Apes than... Zombies. I okay, still... actually, I'm lying. Yeah, you're wild. That's actually kind of bad. All right, Cause... how about this? What? <laughs> apocalypse, like comet, like end of the world apocalypse, zombie apocalypse, or a pandemic. Comets. What the? F- Kill me. <laughs> Kill. Because it's been crazy. No, it's been so booty. Like. I gotta look left and right. I can't drink certain things because I'm afraid I'm gonna get catch that. Remember in the beginning of COVID? Nah, that was the worst. That shit was crazy. Like, nah, it wasn't the worst. It was the best, low key. We was lit. No. The first, the first two weeks of quarantine or like. COVID? Yeah, of quarantine when like when I went to go pick you up from school. Oh, okay. You get that was it. fun. Yeah, that was. Fun. But then we was like, cause like that's when they told us like, oh, it's only gonna be like two, three weeks. Yeah, and we didn't have to quarantine then. Yeah. They said quarantine after. Hell yeah. Of after after that two weeks. It mm-hmm. was like, and then we had no work because it was spring break. Oh, that was tough. <laughs> that was nah. so, that was a good time. I was playing 2K all day, but I should have made that podcast last year. You should have. That would have probably blew up for real. It's okay. Gradually going up. Mm-hmm. It's only up from here. It is. We already at the bottom, so, and it's, it's pretty good. It is. Shit, it sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> anyway, think about this. I have a theory, a little conspiracy about the COVID, very, of COVID-19, right? On, and how it ties into like all this stuff. So, so COVID is actually an actual bacteria. Like it's on all of our like hand sanitizers. Like it kills like ninety nine percent of COVID. But COVID nineteen is like a new evolved variant of it, and like it could kill you. So, what I learned from like doctors, like because there's a doctor at our school that when we, when I do um because at my job I do physicals for athletes and shit. So there's a doctor, and I asked him, like, what he thinks about COVID, and he thinks, like, it's not natural, because, say, like, we're both in the room, right? Mm-hmm. If I had, co- like, if there was COVID on this cup, I'll get it, i die, and you won't get it at all. That makes no sense. Like, that's not how the, a cold works. Like, you know, if you have, like, a cold or the flu, I get sick, you're going to get sick? I didn't know that was possible. Like, what? if COVID was, was in the room, and you die, and I don't get it at all? Yeah, that happens. Like, remember, I played, like... Uh, my teammate had COVID. And I'm touching him, and I'm right next to him. Like if he if he had a cold, like I probably would have got sick too. But none of us got sick, but him. Like it makes no sense. And what he was saying is like he, it could be man made. Like imagine if it was man made. The and government put it out to kill half the population. Because we're Cause, killing the earth. Because it's overpopulating. It's overpopulating the earth. We're killing the earth. They set out a little mini disease just to scare us into hiding. And ever since we went into quarantine, like air quality got better, like what, like trees and stuff was like more greener and stuff. Like no, nobody's driving on the road, so no air pollution. Mm-hmm. I mean, if anything, why set out like to put a disease like that out and kill hella people when they could have just like said global warming's getting bad, we're going into quarantine without like a disease? I don't know. That's so dumb. I really don't know. I feel like. I don't know. Like, this is just my personal opinion. It could be natural, but we it's just something different that we've never seen before. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like, you never know what these niggas are saying to us. Is it true? Mm-hmm. You ever heard of the Black Plague? No. Nah. The Black Plague was in, like, the... I can't remember the years, but I know the Black Plague was probably the worst disease, like, ever. One of the worst diseases ever created. Like, it killed half, like, maybe, like, a quarter of the world. I probably heard of it, but I don't remember. Like, it was, like, during the 7th, like, maybe, I can't remember the years, but it was in Europe. Like, that shit killed, like, half of Europe. Mm-hmm. Like, it was, like, it wasn't even COVID. It was, like, 
three times worse. Like I've never heard of it. Like it's crazy. Like that. Like just dropping dead. Like if you had the black plague, like it was over for you. So it's like, and what I also heard was, I heard that we have, like they made. I think they made the cure to that. But I heard, I don't know. If this is also true. So don't quote me on this, y'all. I don't know. Half the. I'm just based off my mind and theory. Yeah. I gotta start looking at this. I heard like in the. Uh, what's that called? The government holds all the world's diseases that we ever had. They probably do. Just to keep it, just in case, like, oh, like, I doubt, like, they were saying, like, they keep it in a room, like, heavily guarded, so, like, we have, like, hella diseases in there. But if I'm, like, no funny, like, if this was, like, terrorists, we bombing that shit, like, I'm at, but that's killing the whole world. <laughs> You about to go to jail talking like this? Chill, I'm kidding. I'm not. No, I'm not a Taliban. I'm not. Chill. I'm not one of them. Like I was used to just think. Like, I don't know why I thought like that. Like they was talking about. Like they talk. They got all the diseases. Like they got the swine flu, black plague, all that in there. But they told me that when I was a kid. So I doubt that's true. Ain't no way. You never know what goes on in the government. I know they telling us so many lies. I wish I know what the is going on. Me too. But that's a conversation for another day. Mm-hmm. So after all that. Let's go on the topic that my friend told us. Where do we see ourselves in five years? So like let me ask you. Ourselves, like me and you separate or like as a couple? We'll do both, but you could do yourself first. I don't even know what I want to do after college. I don't think nobody does. But like if my plan goes like as a, not athletic trainer, but like training people and then eventually like open up my own business because I am in business management then hopefully but as of right now i don't even know me too for me personally i know what you mean but for me i don't know either like i want to work i want to do a lot of things on the side like this like i want to have i want to like five years from now i i see myself still doing podcasts like Mm -hmm. i don't know if i'm gonna be big but i feel like i want to do this on the side because it's fun because i feel like this is a good way to have like conversations with me and you like after like a good day of work or something like that or yeah, me and my friends. friends that I haven't talked to in a while and that's funny conversations like I feel like y'all should hear that shit. like that's the really reason why I like making podcasts like I never even knew like I never watched podcasts before this mm-hmm. I started watching podcasts this summer and like it was weird like I was like I want to do something different like everybody like everybody was doing streams on Twitch and shit. like I was like nah I don't want, I want to do something where like people look at me think about it and think of me yeah and like I don't care if this blows up i just want to have fun Mm -hmm. like you know just have fun and just make good conversation with all the people i love and like that and that's i think that's the good thing but five years from now i see myself still doing this i see i want to like one of my dream dream jobs to do is like work for like the nba or something that too like something up there not even the nba because you know i don't watch basketball like that but like nfl just commentating maybe yeah I don't know about nah. I ain't know about commentating. I'm not good. Yeah, at Yeah, yeah, not talking. You like know I want to be talking. like in the, I want to be like in like design. Like maybe I could be in like the the marketing team. Yeah, or just somewhere up there. Like in the having to side. deal it, yeah. deal with it, not having to talk in front mm-hmm. of other people. Like I'd be on NBC Sports. Like something, something with sports. I want to do something sports management, mm-hmm. and I also want to open my own business, like training kids. And basketball, like weightlifting and stuff like that, and open up like a whole facility and stuff like that, and just have like trainers work under me, and just like, yeah, like doing this podcast, working for another job, and then on the weekends I go train kids. Like I feel like that's a good life. Yeah. But for multiple incomes. But for us, in five years, what are we? Twenty six, twenty, and twenty five. Yeah. I see us. I think we're gonna be married already. I think so too. I feel like four years from now or five years from now. We'll be financially stable enough. Yeah. I think we'll be married. I don't know if we... We might have a kid. Who knows? I think my friends will have a kid before me. <laughs> Not gonna lie. No, I don't know. I don't know about that. What, having a kid? No, like your friends having a kid before you. These are crazy. Hopefully they strap up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they got little kids running around. Imagine already. Yeah. But nah, five years, yeah, I think we're just either living together or married. Probably both. Maybe like, how old would I be? 25. 25? I think we're going to get married at 25. 
I think that's, that's a, good a good age to get married. But I mean, you can't plan everything. You just have to see where yeah, it just goes. Happens. Yeah, it just happens. If it's the right time, you'll know. Yes, you'll know. Mm-hmm. You'll know. We'll know. Like with us, that shit wasn't planned. Mm-mm. Nah, we soulmates for real though. <laughs> like when I seen you, it was just like, it just like clicked. I don't know what. It was like a plug going into like the uh, the wall socket. Like an energy just went in my head. You and um, you and Corey probably do that to every girl that walks in the gym. No. Nah. You ain't never. It was different. He's lying. Nah. <laughs> he was different. I was like, nah, this girl, this girl's mine though. <laughs> you my for real. For real. Real but nah. life. Y'all see her little pretty face though. But there's a little demon in there, yo. I'm telling you, this girl is. My here we go. Rambo. I got to let them know before <laughs> they start coming at me because thinking I'm a little too hard on you. <laughs> she gangster, though. Like, when I tell y'all, she got the attitude of a motherfucking snake. Not a snake. What? what? That's a weird animal. Uh, what What animal got attitude? Alligator? A lion? Tiger? Some shit. Let mm. me tell y'all a story, right? Basketball. This was earlier this summer. I had a basketball tournament. And... Filipino basketball tournament. Filipino basketball tournaments get heated. Like <laughs> Filipinos love basketball more than anything in the world. I think they're I think that's like the main sport in their country. Like they serious. Like I'm telling you, like I'm half black and Filipino, so like it's an all Filipino league, like no other race. Low key kind of racist, but I'm not questioning <laughs> nothing because like they treat me like I'm a mother god. I'm not even no god. Like they be gassing my head up. I don't like that. You do. I do like the attention. They annoy it. Nah, it be lying. annoying sometimes. You, you be liking that attention. I really don't. Like, I just be wanting to chill. And they be like, Madara, like, you ready? You ready to go? Like, like I just play, like, three games. But, like, please. Like, I'm okay, bro. I'm good. I'm ready to go. Like, come on. You got to you gotta go hard in the paint. Like, they tell me what to do. Like, like nah, bro. I'm, I know what I'm doing. Like, it's okay. But it's like, but anyways. So, we're at a Filipino tournament, right? And I'm using the foam roller. I just got the game. Like, I'm, I'm stretching. And then... Some lady walk up to me talking about some. Excuse me, that's not your phone roller. That's my phone roller. And she didn't I'm, say it like that. He's what? saying it a little too nice. He, I forgot what she said, but it was with hella attitude. Go ahead. Do you want to say it or you don't remember? Well, no, I don't know what she said. I'm just saying like she said something with hella attitude and like took the phone roller. Like she was, she was that. Bitch. Oh, okay. That's how she so did I'll it. let you tell the story. Go ahead. And all right, so she took the phone roller. And I already knew she had an attitude to begin with. So I was just looking at her and I stared her all the way down to where she was sitting. And, you know, she I feel like she was one of those girls that were trying to, like... Because she was with hella boy, Like, the hella guys were that were with her. She was trying to show and out. And then, like, one of her friends. I feel like yeah. she was trying to show out for them. And you're not going to do that in front of me. Facts. So, she Period. walked to where she was sitting. And I stared her all the way down. And she sat down. And I just... I kept staring at her. And then I rolled my eyes and looked away. And I guess she got so hurt that I rolled my eyes at her. And then she started, like, talking over there. And I didn't even notice she was talking to me until I looked at her again to roll my eyes again. Mm-hmm. And she was looking at me like, don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. And that's where she messed up. Oh, shit. <laughs> nah. And then I just, I forgot what I was saying. And I just kept staring at her. But I was, like, saying stuff. But, you know, when you're mad, you black out. And that's I what mean, happened. I guess. But when I'm mad, I black out. And I just start saying whatever comes to mind. And I don't remember what I say after that. And the funny thing is, y'all, is, like, I'm talking to my boy. And, like, he's sitting on the floor next to... Jay and I'm sitting on the bench and we're talking and like I just see her like hella hella argument I'm like what the fuck is going on I just see her arguing with some lady I didn't even peep I'm like what the fuck just happened and then you told me the story I'm like oh I'm like and I find out who her boyfriend is, is the on the team that we're playing I'm like and they're saying like he's all good and shit they're like oh you got him I'm like alright they're like yeah you got Garvey he's pretty good you got I'm like nah but you don't gotta tell me that bro. the game comes on he called for so he after he made that shot he got the ball again and then he called for a screen so I bumped him and he called a foul like I ain't give a f-. and then he tried to cover my face like bro that's not basketball I'm like bro because they've been hacking me all day and I just bump you look like you don't gotta say shit to me yes, I told you he did sh-. I'm like cause I don't know I, I get so mad cause I was never like this like I, I work for this sh-. I feel you like long nights like I, I got cut from the team 7th grade I cried in the bathroom for 10 minutes and then my uncle Ronnie called me. He was like, "Yo, it's all good, man. Cause we gonna get you right." It's mm-hmm. like it's, you never, whatever you're feeling right now, you never gonna feel it again. I'm like, "All right." 
used to go outside after I do my homework every night. Just get a uh, three hundred shots up, three hundred dribble. Dedication. I used to go to the Y. All dedication. Used to go to the Y. Me and Ish Javon used to go lift, go play at the uh, go play at the courts at the Y like six o'clock in the morning before like they play pickleball, mm-hmm. like all the time, like just hoop hoop hoop. So it's like now it's like. Dang, I work my way all the way up to. The, I can't go back down. You getting, you getting old though, so you need to relax. I know. I You're know. already 21. <sighs> About to be 26. <laughs> but not nah, for real though. Like, I I work for this. I'm I'm happy. I'm never actually. I'm never happy. Like I'm never happy with where I'm at. I always want to get better. But like, this is like a good spot. It is. You make more shots, you know. Not having to chase after balls that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I know she's a real one. Cause when I go work out and get my shots up, she always rebounds me. Even though when she don't want to, I can see in her face like she just like like pillow taps the ball to me. No, sometimes my arm really just be hurting. I'm sorry, I understand. <laughs> Not cause I'm like I'm doing it a lot, just cause we just lifted. Or yeah. yeah, or my arm just hurts for no reason. I feel you, but fellas, if y'all are hoopers and you got a girl. She ain't your girl. She don't rebound for you. She really not your girl. She don't rebound for you. But yeah, like, I just, that's just how I am. But we both aggressive. Oh my God, I forgot about this. What? Remember when you fought your teammate? Oh my God. Girl, yo, yo. <laughs> we was, she, so you played softball. Oh, you, play, you still play softball at Felicia now. Yeah, Division but I played two. for <laughs> You played, you, I'll talk about your story later. I'm going to brag about you that a little later. But, yeah, she played Division One softball at Coppin State University in um, Baltimore. But she was down there, and this was after a game, right? Yeah, it was after a game. It was, at, like, at night. Yeah. So, like, they go on the little team bus with their teammates, and I guess one of her teammates had, like, a little accent. They was making fun of her. Okay. It was yeah, like you a, tell the story. You tell the story. We were in a van. It was, like, a little van. So, there was two vans for... I don't even know how many girls were on the team, but there was two vans. And I was on a van with some big girl... She's like six foot and big. And she had an accent. Everybody was laughing. Like, we were all chilling, just laughing. And I guess they were making fun of it up there. And she was like, the next person, the next person who mocks my accent gets smacked. She was talking to the whole bus when she said that. So I was like, oh, she tried me. So she said something again. And then I mocked it. And she stood up. And I was behind her in a seat behind her. And she stood up in the van, and she was like, who said that? So I stood up, because if, if I would have, like, said it was me and I was sitting down, she would have broke me. <laughs> so I stood up, and I was like, me? And then she swung, but, like, she, like, like hit my nose a little bit, but it was, like, a little, what's mm-hmm. that called? A little brush. Yeah, like a little brush. And But right when I saw that she was swinging, like, I had to swing back, because I was like, what if she hits me real hard? Like, I'm dead. <laughs> so I swung back, and I just kept swinging, and then the... The um, the assistant coach was like, sit down. And so we all sit down. And then after, I was ready to fight after when we got out of the van, too. That's what I thought. Like, that's Yo, what she TTG, y'all. Like, <laughs> she is ready to go. Train like, to go, bro. Like, after you get into a fight in a car or something, when you get out, you're ready to fight again. Like, we didn't get our ones for real. We were in a little <laughs> van. <laughs> so I'm going to give you another shot to redeem yourself. Shit. So I just got out the van. I was ready to fight. And then she wasn't about nothing. Like, she just walked away. So I went to the the locker rooms. And then I guess they all found out what happened. And then the captain came up to me. And she was like, what happened? And I was like, I'm not even talking to you right now. I'm ready to fight, blah, blah, blah. And then she was just trying to calm me down. And then the coach called me. And she was like, Jay, what happened? And then, yeah, it just went from there. They kept calling me fight night after that. I was like... It's not yeah, even funny. right hook crazy, bro. <laughs> when I tell you, like, wh- let me tell you, on my point of view, all I heard, all I remember was like, she texted me like, "Yo, I just punched this." Bitch. I'm like, "Who the f- are you talking about?" You like, probably who? thought I was kidding because Lex thought I was kidding. I thought I don't know. I don't remember. I think I believed you because you you been one of. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say no words, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 me. But I was just like, "What the f- who the f- punch?" And it's just like a. No text back for like 15 minutes. Like, oh, is this girl like fighting? Like, she in jail? No, I think because I called my, I called my mom like right after I came out the locker room and talking to um the captain, yeah. and I was like, I just punched this girl, blah blah. And my mom was like, Are you serious? 
Yo, but my mom was like, my mom was on my side, of course. Of she was course. asking me if I punched her really hard. I was like, you already know. I, I think I did too. I was like, did you give her a black eye or something? No, I don't think it was like that. I said something though. I can't remember. She at, after I punched her and the coach told us to sit down. She was like, "You knocked my earring off, girl. I don't care." She probably thought you was playing around, but you was dead serious. I was. Like she's probably like, "Ha ha, you knocked my earring off." Like, like you no, she wasn't laughing. Off. Oh, she was. Just, she was serious. She was like, "You knocked my earring off." Okay, hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> you street hard, bro. TTG, bro. You already know. Just not like, why not like? There's a girl ever to like say some. I mean, I'm calling Jay. She getting f-ed up on site. No, for real. I wish. Like, that's my dream. Not my dream. I'm stretching it. But, like. This girl loves confrontation. Not even. I just. I don't know. It just gets me excited. That's some psycho. <laughs> sh- I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God. But look. After all that, right? So, now let's get into the topic. Now let's talk about you now. Because, you know, I love talking about you. You like my trophy. You really are my trophy, bro. You know everybody be saying like they girl they trophy. You my trophy. I flaunt you everywhere. <laughs> like I f- like you the my biggest flex. Mm. Like I talk to you about like everybody in the gym know about you. Like that I work at I work at a I work at the gym for the school. So like all my coworkers they know like oh Darius you talking to your girl like you text your girlfriend huh man you text your wife you about to go to your wife house I'm like yeah yeah he's like ah oh, I know I know but let me tell you about her bro so. Division one, right? Coppin State. How was that? Like, how was the whole D one experience for you? I mean, it was fun, sort of. Like, if it was, if I had better, I don't want to say better teammates because they weren't so bad. But like, if I had teammates, I was more comfortable with. It would have been so much fun. I feel like you didn't like really bond together with them because you guys come from like different places. Yeah, and it was just like. Not my type of people. Or maybe it's just because I wasn't used to them, but it was, like, not my cup of tea. I feel like that, too, because, like, we're from the East Coast, so your teammates were mostly from the West Coast, so it's, like, that's two different worlds. Yeah. So, like, you, you're not going to force yourself into liking them. Yeah, and I didn't really like partying and stuff. They would always ask me to go out, and I'm like, no. Yeah. That's why I only had Sabrina. I know. We used to stay in all the time. Nah, Sabrina's cool people, though. I love her. I miss her. But anyway, so was so was the D1 experience like how hyped up it was because you know as an athlete your biggest goal is to go D1 mm-hmm. like for I mean me, for me it wasn't really to go D1 I feel like I just wanted to have fun playing softball I didn't care what division and that's great like that's what I love about you like you just love to play like for me I feel like in like high school I wanted to go division I thought I was good enough to play division two mm-hmm. like I like I didn't get no looks but I thought like I could walk on, so I used to apply to hella schools, hella D two schools I was close by, and shit. And so I would apply, hoping like I, I got into all of them. But like as the freaking year went on, I'm like I kind of realized that I'm not a Division two talent. So like I didn't even know. Like first of all, I played Division three basketball at Rutgers Newark in New Jersey, right? So I walked on to Rutgers Newark. I didn't think. I was good enough to play college basketball at all. Like, coming out of high school, I didn't have no interest nowhere except to freaking send their university. And that was in the beginning of the year, and they didn't even... Like, the coach is not even there no more that recruited me. And they see me in one fall league game. It was like, I, I like you. I was, so, I was so surprised but happy at the same time. But I feel like you also have to hit up coaches, too. Yeah, I didn't know that at the time. Yeah, I know, I know. Like, Especially in high school. I thought they just came to you. I and didn't know you... No, and Hit then you get up. recruiting videos. Oh yeah, I made a highlight tape for that was ten seconds long. It was because I got lazy; I couldn't finish it. <laughs> but so, like, I cried my last basketball game. Like, actually, I was about to quit basketball because oh, yeah. in senior year I'm playing, and I'm doing pretty good the first couple of games. Like, you know, I probably average like maybe like eight, like first through the first three, four games, eight or nine, and then there was just a stretch where I didn't play. I was like, what's going on? And then I talked to him. He was like. Well, I just think this junior is a little better than you. But I'm like, and he's like, we I, we want to develop him. So I'm like, damn, you just going to throw me under the bus my my last year like that? And I, I, I wanted to leave so bad. Like, I asked my dad. Like, I was like, dad, should I quit? He was like, he was like what do you think you should do? I'm like, I don't know. He's like, well, you're going you're gonna to figure it out yourself. He was like, if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. But you have to, like, go what you think. Don't care what anybody else thinks. 
So I was just like, we don't quit. Yeah, I was like, we don't quit. I was, you know, I'll finish this out. But the last game I cried because like I was like, this is probably the last time playing basketball. And then that summer, I started playing uh, the Filipino League. And I was doing really good, I guess. And then my coach was asking me, he was like, oh, are you playing college basketball? I'm like, no. And then he was like, why not? I was like, because, I mean, I don't, I don't really know where I'm going to play. Like, I didn't even... I only went to Rutgers North because my dad works there. works there, and it's free. So he was like, "I got a, I could go talk to the coach for you." And then I was like, "All right," just ask him when the tryouts were. And then he was like, "All right." He hit up Coach Log, and I talked to Coach Log the first day of school. I was like, "When's tryouts?" He's like, "October 20th." He's like, "I'll see you there." I'm like, "All right." I worked out for only a month, only one month. Like I would just be in the gym every day for a month straight, like run, shoot that when trials came like i was afraid i was afraid more so the running than anything like i thought i was out of shape but like when i once i realized like like i'm i'm in shape i'm like all right i'm good so i made the team i made from the mud though they didn't know about me i didn't like at the time freshman year you could ask my teammates like they they all my guys now but back then like i ain't none of them like like they knew that it's because like i looked at them as like competition and I was like, I can't let them see me as, like, a friend. Like, I feel like that's the right mindset, but the wrong at the same time. I know, yeah. Because, I mean, you still have to – you're obviously competing for a spot on the team, but you can't make it into, like, a I hate you type of thing because that's still your teammate. Yeah, it's not like I hated them. It was just, like – I was, like – I did it to a, a too much extent. Yeah. So it was, like, y'all my guys. Like, they my guys now, but it's, like, back then it was, like, nah. Like, if I feel like I'm – being like friendly to you is like I'm not gonna go as hard in practice and like I couldn't take that risk. But now it's like I could do both. Mm-hmm. And, like I learned how to do both. And like yeah, they all my guys. But what I what I learned from being a walk on is that no matter what, you you're still fighting every day because he's always gonna recruit somebody that he thinks is better than you. And he's always going to think somebody else should play more than you, even though you're in the gym 24-7. Like, I used to be in there before class. I have class at 9.30, 9.30, 10 o'clock. I'll be in the gym 7.30, getting some shots up. That's Shoot. good, though. That's dedication, but he doesn't see that stuff. Yeah, I know. but I mean, I'm not saying to stop doing it. I'm just saying. Oh, no, nah, like, it, it never stopped. Like, this is a habit now. Like, he just, I don't know. Like, Coach Lock, he's my guy, but he's just... Nah. <laughs> he's he's cool people when he wants to be. But I don't know. I just feel like he he was he was once a walk on, so I feel like he looks at me as him. I like know, I'll I, be okay to sit on the bench. Like no, no. bro. I wanna that be. that should make it even like worse because like he knows that what he, he did as a walk on, so he should know that other people as walk ons would do the same thing. I know. But he probably was just like when he was a walk on, he probably didn't give a but me, I'm just, I just want to hoop. Let me shoot, coach. Let me shoot, coach. <laughs> I you know, I remember that m- yelled at me in the game for shooting the ball. I got, oh, I, yeah. I got in the game freshman year. I got the ball wide open. I shot it. He was like, Daria, you don't even say my name right. <laughs> he about to watch this like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like he yelled at me. I don't know if he remember, but I, I will never forget that. Because he wanted me to pass it to Chase. Shit, I was ready to shoot. It was like I missed. I wish I made that. I Fuck. know. I, if you would have made it, you should have pointed to him. Like that one was for you. <laughs> but hey, it all happens. We still working every day. So, so coming up out of high school, right? Let me let me talk to you about this. So for you, you went to Ferris High School, right? Mm-hmm. And before you, were they really that good? They weren't bad. They weren't bad, think. right? Mm-mm. But. You did you start? You start all four years, right? Yeah. And did y'all when did y'all make the counties? Your senior year? I think we made counties. Or oh, finals, finals. The finals we just made in my senior year. Oh, okay. And you know what I like about you is, is because you could have went to, like Hudson Catholic, all the big schools because of how good you were, but you decided to go play with your friends. Yeah, like I said, I just wanted to have fun, like. I didn't care about winning counties. Like, obviously, I wanted to win it, but I wanted to win it with girls I liked. Yeah. And, like, we all wanted to win it just for each other. Like, it wasn't like, 
no animosity towards each other. We would argue, but we were like sisters, so we would get over it. It was like, I just wanted that environment. I didn't want to already feel like I played for college. Yeah, that's good, because I feel like p- kids nowadays, they don't they think they're in the NBA and think, like, they like motherfucking LeBron and shit. Like, LeBron, like, LeBron started a whole ripple effect. Like, it went from, like... So ever since LeBron joined D Wade and Chris Bosh in, in the Heat, every in the, in the world think like, "Oh, let me go team up with the best player, and the mm-hmm. best players everywhere." Like, like nah, bro. Like, like if I was like a big D one like recruit, I feel like I would think about going to like the big schools, like IMG. The only reason why is because like it, it just looks nice. But like I would want to stay in Union with my friends because mm-hmm. it's like. Then my guys, like, I want to just have fun. Like, exactly. People don't want to have fun no more. Mm-mm. Let's say you're, let's say you're a good team. I mean, like, not a so good team, and you're playing a good team, and you beat them. That's people a- are gonna be looking at that not not that good team because they just beat that good team. Exactly. So it don't matter where you play or who you play with. If you're good enough, you'll carry your team to a championship game, or you'll motivate them enough to work every day exactly like it's i just hate it like the way you are like you're just different from everybody else you don't think like everybody else like you don't want to go to the big schools you want to do what's best for you like you don't think about nobody else Mm -hmm. and like that's what's good like everybody nowadays just cares about what people think and they always want to fit in and care about everybody else's opinion that's not what matters like you got to stand out standing out doesn't mean going into a crowd and doing like dumb shit and trying to be funny and just for them to amuse like not nah, standing out is like you doing your own shit and everybody following in your steps mm-hmm. and that's what you did mm-hmm. like yeah. that's that's why i'm that's what i'm trying to do with this podcast yeah like i just want to do my own shit where people think of me when they think of this podcast all my life I've always been like that like like i just wanted to be different than like everybody else like i felt like with my friends like, who I be around is just, like, I want them to be a reflection of, like, me. Like, I want them, like, me to be a reflection of them. Yeah. Like, I didn't like being a part of, like, the big crowds and shit like that. Like, I didn't like going to parties and stuff. Like, I like chilling with my friends. Like, I feel as though kids just want to be cool so bad. But, like, it's it's good to stand out. It's it good is. to be different. Like, nobody likes being, like, regular people. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think it's, that's, like, a cool thing. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to make the new norm. Not be a part of the norm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Always be above average, kids. Never be average. Facts. Facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Inspirational. Very. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm good with speeches. You are. Like, I can inspire anybody. But la- last question, last question. If you could go back to co- to high school, right? Mm-hmm. And with all this going on now, like, you just learn seeing what happened at Coppin. Like, would you go back to Coppin? Like, would you pick Coppin if you knew it was going to happen, or would you go somewhere else? That's hard, because, like, I met my lifelong friend at Coppin, so mm-hmm. I probably would go back to Coppin. Shout out Sabrina again. <laughs> so I probably would go back to Coppin, just for, because I know, it's just for the experience, honestly. I didn't mind dorming and stuff. It was just, I didn't enjoy softball. That was really it. Mm-hmm. So I enjoyed everything else but softball. Don't worry, we're going to find that fight back. <laughs> for me, like... I would go. I would still come to Rutgers. Because mm-hmm. I feel as though my life really did change when I come here. Like, like just imagine I did make the team. We wouldn't be doing this right now. You wouldn't be sitting here. I don't know if I would have met you. Like, I met you at my basketball game. Oh, no, that's like, crazy. Like, this sport I played changed my life. Literally. <laughs> Helped me find the love of my life. <laughs> Helped me find some some guys I'm going to be friends with for the, for the rest of my life. But it's like... And, like, the way I did it, it's, like, walking on. Like, I never thought I could do it. I always used to tell myself, like, like I never used to think. Like, when I was a kid, I always used to think I was behind all the time. Because, like, I was younger than everybody. I was always fat and slow. Like I, always I mean, th- I feel like that's what got you to the place you were now, though. Because mm-hmm. you're very, what's that called? What's that word? What? Like. Inspirational? No, no, no. Motivated? Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, I, o- I always felt like I was behind, like. And like I just didn't like that like that. It felt like where I'm at right now is not where I should be. Like the next year, that's where I should have been last year. Like that's that's why I felt every year. 
and it was like I spent like freshman year of college when I came back to um high school when I came back to my school to go work out with them because they just started did a tryouts and shit. And my coach was like, Wow, Darius, you look like in good shape. Like I wish I had you like this, like for another year. I'm like, You mother I don't like like shut the fuck like why you say that? I don't know. You like, know these coaches. You don't say that. Like I'm sorry my body didn't develop. Like he's like, Why are you jumping out the gym? I'm like, Yeah, if you would have played me, I might have been jumping out the gym for you. Mm-hmm. But it's like I'm at a even playing field now so That's it's good. like i don't think i would ever i was continue to pick records because it really shaped my life how it is now exactly i feel like everything that happens in the past shaped your life to what it is now so mm-hmm. it's like i wouldn't change yeah i wouldn't change nothing we going strong forever facts <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i think we should end it there you think so yeah you got any more things you want to talk about anything you want to ask me not that I know of. Maybe in a in a couple more podcasts. I'll a couple more stuff. episodes. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh, I also got a thing for y'all. If y'all have anything you want to talk, want us to talk about, or you have any questions for us, you know, leave a comment down below, and we'll get to we'll get back to you in the next following episodes. I'll pick the topic or question I always want, I want to ask, and we'll talk about it at the end. All right. How about that? That's a, that sounds nice. That sounds fun. Yeah. But to the people of the world. From yours truly and my wonderful guests, this is the end of our episode, first episode of No Regrets Podcast, and I hope y'all enjoy your day. Deuces. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.